Hey everyone, welcome to day 10 of 10 for 10. This whole week has been about having honest conversations around mental wellness and mental health. And the theme we have today is no less important than the past nine days. And the theme is you matter. This is pretty specific that it's on the 10th day because although all of these themes are important, sending us out into the world, into these conversations, breaking down the stigma and silence, there's no better way to do it than be reminded that you matter in the world. So to help us talk about that, I've asked Jonathan Orlowski, a uh, youth from St. Luke's, to help share um, how this idea has played a role in his life and his experience, and um, also uh, just with the conversation around mental wellness and such in his life and experience. So Jonathan, thanks for being here. Thanks for being willing to have this conversation. Yep, for sure. So um, you and I have, have talked on and off throughout the past few years even um, about uh, yeah various ways of think, thinking through things in life and how you fit into the world, so to speak, is yeah. kind of where a lot of our conversations have been. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things we talked about is that wherever you are, fitting into the world in that moment, um, you matter, you being there matters. Um, so how has, how has that experience um, helped you in life? Or how, how have you taken that idea of mattering um, and how has that been a part of your experience? Just, just knowing that like, first of all, having someone to talk to, um, considering the fact, you know, you matter sliding that into your everyday life saying that um, you can you're supported you're within you know there's people within your life that can help you you know and whenever you're feeling down or whatever you know everybody's gonna be everybody's gonna feel down um, a lot or you know every other day you know just sporadically sporadically throughout your life you know it's just gonna it's gonna pop up right and I think just knowing that, um, like I said, the biggest thing, having someone to talk to, but knowing that I'm known or knowing that you're thought about and cared about is just a good way to keep your mind kind of fresh and renewed. Mm -hmm. So what, what I kind of hear there is like, you matter. It's an important thing to tell yourself, but it's an also an important thing to, that you believe that someone else feels that about you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Um, how is how has that played a role in your journey? For me, it helps if I can get my thoughts out to someone else, um, and I think that's a common case for a lot of people, right? You know, bottling them up can make you feel stressed or whatever. But being able to have someone that you can talk to and feel safe around, you know, mm -hmm. and being able to spill anything that's going on in your life, it just for me, it's it's mind clearing. You know, I can go into the next day thinking, okay, I got that off my chest. It's in the past. You know, I don't I don't have to think about that anymore. So I think having one or multiple people you can just go to on any given day and say, hey, I'm feeling a little down. You know, I just I'd like to share some things. I think that just helps me being able to go to the next day. Yeah, and so if we take that a step further now to um, you believing that for yourself and remind yourself of that, um, how does how does that help you in moments of, um, yeah, dark moments or sadness or whatever it is? How does that help you? Yeah, so telling yourself that, I think, personally, I think is huge. You know, like I said, once I figured out that I had someone to go to, um, I knew there was always a few people that I could say, you know, I'm kind of sad, but I don't really want to talk about it, you know. But finally, once I told myself that, okay, I'm comfortable, they are, they'll be confidential about it. It's going to be comforting and mind clearing. You know, I can just, once I told myself that, I figured out that, you know, I could just 
let go without having to be like, okay, I can tell you, but like, can I really tell you? You know, like mm-hmm. once you, once I think, you know, personally, I think it's a bond, you know, you have yeah. to have a strong bond with whoever you're going to talk to or disclose this information with. Cause if, if it's just kind of weak and you're like, well, I'm going to tell you, but I don't feel comfortable, you know, it's just kind of, it's not the same because then you still hold on to the fact that, well, I'm still thinking about this and that person. You know, it's not kind of just gone. Yeah. I think uh, for me, like, publicly, I think I talk about the idea of you matter always being this, like, I don't know, like this outward thing of, like, me telling all of the people I work with, right, like, you matter, you're, you're loved, you're enough, you're known. And those are all really good things. But I think like this conversation is helping me realize like it's deeper than that too. Of, like you matter enough to be in this relationship where you can share more vulnerably, or you matter enough to share how you're actually feeling. Yeah. Um, that's a that's a, I think an important shift. Um, you know, not just this general like blast to the world, you matter, but like you matter enough for taking care of yourself for. Um, knowing that there's tomorrow for um, all of that. Uh, so what, if you can, I'm going to push you a little bit. Is there a moment in your life that you would say like the idea of mattering has like really helped you through that moment? Um, you know, like I said, everybody has their has their days and I think I've just had a few really deep days, you know, like Mm -hmm. personally, I'm not comfortable sharing, you know, exactly what went on, but, um, just, just being really down and not knowing what to do. Um, once I found out that I really had a spot to go, um, and just knowing that, you know, it's, it's going to be all right, you know, nothing's Mm going to happen. There's, like you said, there's tomorrow thinking forward. I think that helped me too, you know, thinking forward and just, I don't know, but personally, just just knowing that there's the connection just helped. Like even if, even if I didn't necessarily reach out to it, I think the feeling of having the connection and knowing that there is always 24 seven somewhere you can go yeah. helped. That's awesome. That. I think that's a big thing of like just knowing you have that person reminds you that you matter to them, right? And yeah. that, that keeps you going. Um, so for today's question, I want to ask if you can share uh, what is one way that you believe you matter in the world? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. For myself personally, I actually dislike sharing things like that because I don't like to talk about myself in that manner. But I think that's one of the things that we can break down. That we're not necessarily bragging about it, but like acknowledging like this is a way I matter in the world. So you can share that on the uh, comments on Facebook or Instagram and also bring this conversation as we've been asking throughout the past 10 days, bring this conversation home in your community to work wherever it is and uh, Keep it going. I think, uh, you know, we've had a great 10 days here, but this is the start of it, that we can continue to bring this conversation into the world around us and and break down some of that silence around it as well. So Jonathan, thank you so much for sharing, um, for your honesty, and uh, for really reminding us that that we matter to those around us and that uh, it's good to tell each other that so we can continue to um, build those bonds and relationships. So thank you. For sure. Thank you for having me. Yes.